Mazda CX-60 features revolutionary new diesel inline, 6. Could this powertrain make Americans fall in love with diesel again? One second, before we start the video, kindly subscribe to this channel. That will motivate us to make more videos like this. Your support is very important for us. Only, you can help us to reach the next milestone. Now, let's get started. In early 2021, Mazda cut the diesel option from the CX-5 range. It was more expensive than the gas-powered engines, so the uptake wasn't strong. While Mazda wouldn't confirm how many diesel CX-5s were sold in the USA, it stated that it would continue to advance its diesel technology globally as part of a multi-solution powertrain strategy, which has included hydrogen development as well as the Skyactiv X spark-controlled compression ignition for gasoline. Mazda's commitment to this strategy has paid off because it's just introduced an all-new diesel engine for the CX-60. The plug-in hybrid CX-60 was unveiled earlier this year as the most powerful Mazda ever, and while it may not be coming to the States, it does give us some insight into what we can expect from the upcoming CX-70 and CX-90. As for the new diesel, it incorporates some impressive technologies. The all-new 3.3-liter inline six-cylinder Eskai Active D diesel engine produces either 197 or 251 horsepower, depending on whether customers opt for rear or all-wheel drive. The engine provides up to 406 lbft of torque. Why are these figures relatively low compared to other advanced diesel powertrains? Well, Mazda tends to be fairly pragmatic when it comes to its turbocharged engines, aiming for reliability and efficiency over outright power. Put a pin in that efficiency bit. The most impressive bit is what Mazda calls distribution-controlled partially pre-mixed compression ignition DCPCI, technology. Mazda claims this new combustion technology gives this particular diesel powertrain a thermal efficiency of over 40%. Most diesel engines have a thermal efficiency of 30 to 35 percent, and that's with turbocharging included. On top of this new DCPCI system, the 3.3-liter inline-six diesel gets a 48-volt mild hybrid system for improved low-down torque. The high-output engine, standard on AWD models, is powerful enough to help the mid-size Mazda CX-60 run from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.4 seconds. At the moment, Mazda only has WLTP fuel consumption figures, which we know aren't as realistic as EPA estimates. Still, according to Mazda's figures, the high-output diesel will only consume 44.3 miles per gallon, while the low-output version can manage 48 miles per gallon. For reference, the Toyota Prius WLTP estimates are pegged at 57.4 miles per gallon. Mazda claims this new diesel engine is smoother due to its inline construction, and even though it's bigger than the old 2.2-liter turbocharged diesel used in the CX-5, it weighs the same. The claimed tow rating is 5,512 pounds, which is above average for a crossover of this size. This all-new diesel engine will arrive in the UK in the first quarter of 2023, but we doubt it will be introduced locally, however, as diesel engines in the US were already on the downward spiral before the Dieselgate scandal hit in 2015. Since then, BMW and Jaguar eventually gave up stateside, and Chevrolet is the last holdout. Still, even Chevy only gives you a diesel option if you buy a truck or the Tahoe slash Suburban. Still, we can't help but wonder what this ultra-efficient diesel could do in the CX-70. While America won't get the CX-60, the CX-70 will be a wide-body version developed specifically for the US market that will slot in between the CX-5 and CX-9 we presently have. The latter is then slated to be replaced by the CX-90, itself a wide-body version of Europe's forthcoming CX-80. What do you think about this? Let me know this by commenting below. I would love to see them. I can go through your comments and share my feedback. Thanks for watching this video completely. Kindly subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Thanks again, have a great day.